evening. Here is the Lagos Tech News at 7. I am Akan Usen. One year into his second term in office, Governor Babajide Songwulu has inaugurated 15 new locally made ferries called Umi Bos in the first phase of the project. Governor Songwulu who noted that the state's waterways are safe, reliable, and comfortable for passengers, said his administration will ensure seamless integrated mass transportation system in the state and is dedicated to enhancing the quality of lives of Lagosians. The governor urged the regulatory agencies, Lagos State Waterways Authority, LASWA, and the National Inland Waterways Authority, NIWA, to ensure safety and reliability of the waterways are not compromised. We need to have the six components before you board any of our ferries. And I want to also talk to the private um, and ferry operators. Please listen to your regulators. When they give you a time that you cannot ply on the, on, on, on the waterways again, please stick with those regulated time. All of the unfortunate one or two fatality accidents that we have had on waterways in the last one year are people that are not listening to the rules. In his remarks, Commissioner for Transportation, Unuashiu Oshiemi, who said the newly introduced Omibos ferries will help connect communities and reduce stress experienced on the roads, noted that Lagos State Government has witnessed more remarkable development, which represents a vibrant and resilient Lagos. The only bus ferries symbolize more than just a mode of transport. They represent a collective vision for environment, for resilient, and for making Lagos. The general manager, Lagos State Waterways Authority, Lazwa Damilola Emanuel, expressed joy and appreciation to Governor Songwulu for making the launch of the 15 made in Lagos eco friendly ferries tagged only bus possible in collaboration with Caverton Marines. According to him, through safety awareness strategies, the number of passengers plying the waterways has increased and accidents reduced. Hence, the effort to enhance capacity to serve the growing number of commuters who rely daily on water transportation. Our goal is to provide a viable alternative mode of transportation, thereby contributing to the economic growth and ecological sustainability of Lagos State. Our correspondent Abdullah Kindele reports that with the ecosystem friendly ferries built to carry 40 passengers each on a trip, the state government expressed its unwavering commitment to unparalleled innovation strategies to make water transportation viable in the state. The special advisor to the governor on tourism, art and culture, Idris Aregbe, in collaboration with the Lagos State Waste Management Agency, LOMA, embarked on a community service cleanup and rejuvenating initiative at Freedom Park, Lagos Island, one of the tourism sites of Lagos State Government. Speaking to newsmen during the exercise, Arriba said the exercise is to restore the site to its original form to make it appealing to tourists and restore sanity. He explained that the objective of the community initiative to clean up the park is aimed at achieving a cleaner, and breathable environment for tourism to thrive in line with the Themes Plus agenda of Governor Babajide Songwulu's administration. Aregba stated that the ministry is doing the cleanup exercise in collaboration with Loma, adding that the initiative will be extended to other tourist assets and communities across the state. Lagos State Government has assured parents of pupils seeking admission in two to 16 model colleges and upgraded junior secondary schools in the year 2024-2025 academic session that the results of the tests conducted by the Lagos State Examinations Board at the five CBT designated centers will reflect the true performance of the candidates. Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education in the state, Jamiu Tolani Ali Balogu, gave the assurance during the flag of ceremony for the CBT entrance examination for pupils seeking admission into the model colleges and upgraded junior secondary schools across the state. Ali Balogun stated that the examination was conducted through CBT. 
to eradicate all forms of abuse and malpractices usually associated with such examinations in the past. He pointed out that the results of the examination will be generated immediately, adding that there will be no room for manipulation or alteration of the results of candidates. Legacy Emergency Management Agency LASEMA Stakeholders Technical Working Committee on Flood Free Lagos has converged to brainstorm on ways and means to mitigate flooding in the state following a prediction of torrential rainfall by the Nigerian Meteorological Agency NEMET in 2024. Permanent Secretary of LASEMA Olufemi Oke Osoitulu said the aim of the stakeholders forum was to strategize on ways to control flooding as Lagos topography makes the state prone to perennial flash floods. While stressing that aside from desilting drainage channels, carting away of debris and clearing of canals to prevent flooding, Oke Osoitulu stated that the focal point of the forum was to strategize in ways of preventing overlapping of functions during emergencies. Oke Osoitulu appealed to Lagos residents to cooperate with emergency responders during rescue operations to reduce fatalities and prevent loss of properties during emergencies. He revealed that the Technical Working Committee will hold a workshop on the 3rd of June with public advocacy slated for the 13th of June to educate residents on disaster mitigation. Just before we go, speed thrills but kills. Please do not drive beyond specified speed limits. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X Traffic Radio 961, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961, Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM on YouTube. Subscribe and watch us live on our channel Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Songwulu administration supplied 86,000 dual furniture sets to 775 public schools? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Coyote Mafolashiri. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe.